Meet the ladies and gentlemen. Toyota brings a new legend to the car world. Meet the baby version of the giant Toyota Land Cruiser. Let's go into the details in the video. Toyota, the prestigious car producer, has as of late revealed its most recent contribution, the Land Cruiser Prado. In any case, that is not all. Close by this great SUV, the organization has likewise prodded a minimal 4x4 junkie. This forthcoming SUV is supposed to join the regarded Land Cruiser setup, close by models like the Land Cruiser Prado and Land Cruiser 300. Rumors from far and wide suggest that this interesting new expansion could bear the name Toyota Land Container. We should dive into the subtleties of this charming SUV. Even before going to the video, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel to support me. Various names for various business sectors. As per media reports, Toyota intends to give this impending SUV various names relying upon the market it's planned for. Like the A's of late sent off Land Cruiser Prado, which goes via Land Cruiser 250 inches in the North American market, this SUV might be known as the Land Container when it debuts in Japan. Toyota even did whatever it takes to reserve the name Land Container with the Japanese Patent Office back in August of this current year. During the uncovering occasion of the Land Cruiser Prado, Toyota's plan boss, Simon Humphreys, dropped hints about this model. He communicated the craving to keep the Land Cruiser brand pertinent and reasonable. With this impending SUV, Toyota might embrace a methodology of presenting the vehicle with various names in different business sectors. Plan and powertrain of the Toyota Land Container. While explicit insights concerning the Land Container stay hush, it's conjectured that Toyota could send off this minimal cruiser close by its arrangement of electric vehicle EV models. A secret video has given a sneak look at its plan exhibiting a square-shaped and upstanding SUV. Outstandingly, the front of the vehicle includes a particular C-formed light signature. Spills recommend that the land container's size could be like the Corolla Cross, estimating around 4.4 meters long. Notwithstanding, one captivating distinction between the idea and the secret is the presence of an additional wheel fitted onto the rear end. Official affirmation about this new conservative SUV is as yet forthcoming, Yet sources demonstrate that Toyota might present it before the current year's over at the Tokyo Car Exhibition. As Toyota keeps on growing its now noteworthy setup of SUVs, the Land Container vows to be a flexible and bold expansion, taking special care of the developing requirements and inclinations of shoppers across various business sectors. Remain tuned for additional reports on this energizing new 4x4 junkie. As each going 4x4 romping devotee with a thing for Toyota's tough vehicles can perceive you, the Land Series family is made of three individuals. Otherwise called the Prado, the J250 is the furthest down the line one to have gotten another age. The bigger J300 goes along with it, and the J70 adjusts the contribution. Apparently the Japanese automaker needs to grow the tradition of the Land Cruiser with a more modest model. Also, by inheritance, we mean some styling qualities, and maybe a few buttons and handles. In any case, the two will presumably not share anything more, not even a similar rough terrain ability, as the more modest model is probably going to highlight a unibody development, and not a body on outline. A new report coming from Japan expresses that the model might be dedicated the Toyota Land Container. Evidence could stand a new brand name enlistment with the neighborhood office tracing all the way back to August 8th. It tends to be utilized for land vehicles, motors, engines, transmission parts, and other stuff. As we have learned throughout the long term, getting a moniker doesn't be guaranteed to imply that another vehicle is coming. This is where the however part comes in light of the fact that Japanese outlets accept it very well, may be expected as soon as this month. Rough styling and square-shaped extents? Everything appears to demonstrate that the supposed Toyota Land Container will seem to be a more modest Land Cruiser. Also, we as a whole understand what that implies, particularly since it will purportedly pursue any semblance of the Portage horse game, correct? That's right. A square-shaped, generally speaking, appearance, reasonable with a front end helping to remember its bigger kin. We anticipate that it should brandish a straight roofline motor unexpectedly over the rear end, and the typical plastic cladding folded over the lower portions of the guards, bumpers, and side skirts to stress its rough eye nature. In any case, how do we have at least some idea that? We don't, really. And by the everything appears to demonstrate reference made over, that would be a periodic gossip coming from outlets situated in the place where there is the rising sun. 
In any case, it would be coherent to send off it with sharp styling and square-shaped thoroughly searches in a vein like the greater Land Cruiser, particularly since it requirements to separate itself from other minimal hybrids made by Toyota. Toyota could disclose the land container as a contender to the Portage Horse Game at the Japan Portability Show, with reports recommending that estimating might start at under $27,000. Toyota unveiled its latest generation Land Cruiser Prado earlier this year. Toyota showed a smaller off-roader SUV at the launching ceremony, which is believed to be part of the expanding Land Cruiser lineup. It has now been claimed that this baby Land Cruiser would be known as the Land Hopper, and will serve as the entry-level model in Toyota's increasing portfolio of off-road-ready SUVs. On August 8, the Japanese Patent Office registered the Landhopper moniker as a trademark. Toyota's use of the Landhopper moniker may be limited to select areas, such as Japan, since the company may use a different branding strategy in other locations. They might bring back the well-known FJ Cruiser moniker for the North American market, or they could go with a different name, such as Compact Cruiser which corresponds with the idea thought to preview the production model. The dimensions are expected to be around a 4,351mm long, 1,854mm broad, and 1,879mm tall. When compared to a 4Runner, those measurements are approximately 508mm shorter, 51mm narrower, and 76mm taller. A spare tire carrier suspended from the rear hatch, similar to the silhouetted vehicle from the Land Cruiser presentation, accounts for some of that length. The powertrain choices look to be still up in the air. In its native market, Toyota may provide two engine options for the vehicle. Buyers would apparently have the option of a classic naturally aspirated four-cylinder engine or a hybrid powertrain. The Landhopper is claimed to be built on a shorter version of the GAF platform, which supports products like the 300 series Land Cruiser, Sequoia, Tacoma, Tundra, and the new Lexus GX. Toyota may exhibit another development of the Landhopper at the 2023 Japan Mobility Show, which begins at the end of October. If that's the case, we'll learn more about the car Toyota is rumored to be developing as a Suzuki Jinny killer. Earlier this year, Toyota unveiled the new 250 Series Land Cruiser, marking the highly anticipated return of the nameplate to the USA, with the same model to be sold as the Land Cruiser Prado in some markets including Europe and Australia. Shortly after, the Japanese automaker teased the shadowy silhouette of a compact off-roader while announcing plans to expand the legendary nameplate, sparking speculation about the potential introduction of another Land Cruiser variant positioned below the 250 series. Now it's been reported that this baby Land Cruiser could go by the name Land Hopper, serving as the cheapest point of entry in Toyota's growing lineup of off-road ready SUVs. Toyota has recently made waves in the automotive world by trademarking the name Land Hopper, hinting at the imminent launch of a new mini SUV, often referred to internally as the Ginny Killer. This exciting vehicle is slated for a grand unveiling by the end of October at the Japan Mobility Show. The Land Hopper is poised to be a smaller counterpart to the legendary Land Cruiser, offering potential powertrain options that encompass petrol, diesel, hybrid, and even electric variants. The hybrid engine under consideration may feature a 1.5-liter turbo petrol unit sourced from the Corolla Cross, while the diesel engine could potentially be derived from the Fortuner's robust 2.8-liter unit. Speculation also swirls around the inclusion of an electric powertrain, originally developed for the Toyota Tacoma as part of the lineup. In terms of its platform, the Land Hopper is expected to be built on the GAF platform, albeit in a condensed form. This compact SUV is anticipated to measure approximately 4.3 meters in length, positioning it slightly larger than the Suzuki Jimmy and Mahindra Thar, and aligning it in size with models like the Hyundai Creta and Kia Seltos. If the Land Hopper finds its way to the Indian market, it could potentially square off against vehicles such as the Mahindra Thar 5-door and the upcoming Scorpio N. Given Toyota's track record of success with SUVs in India, it may carve out a niche for itself, even if it enters the market with a price range of Rs. 25, 30 lakhs. Furthermore, there's a possibility that Toyota may introduce only the petrol hybrid version in India. On the global stage, the Land Hopper is expected to contend with the likes of the Suzuki Jimmy A.